Hey, what's up, everybody? We out here down in Florida. Just wanted to make a video. Um, had the kids, what, for Christmas? Yeah. And we've been flagged by the police how many times? Like five, Four, six five. times. Five, six times. And all it is, it's me, a 43-year-old black male, and his two children, two sons. An 18-year-old black male with locks that's covered up. 15 year old black male with. Did you have a Pusha Icy mask on? No, I just had my. The first time he didn't, he just had his locks over his face and got a light shine on us and all that. Talk. When we talk, we gotta make sure they, we're talking loud so they can hear. So we got. The first time we got hit by the police, I had dropped them off at Subway. My wife sent me to the store to get some groceries for Christmas dinner. Dropped them off at Subway. I got me a sub from Publix. And then I'm walking back across the street. Instead of driving to pick them up, I walk over there to pick them up from Subway. And as I'm walking across the street, I see a police coming through the intersection, like running down on me. But when he got to me, he turned the other way. So I was like, whew, he wasn't running down on me. But as soon as he turned the other way, they were walking from the Subway and the police hit the lights on them. So that was like the first time, and we weren't doing nothing. What were y'all doing? Just oh, we went walking to, go get to you. Just, 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 just walking to you. And what the police doing? From y'all perspective, what happened with the they police? They just came up over us, creeped up, stopped the car, and then put a flashlight on us, like a big spotlight. How did it make you feel? Uh, I ain't show sure I felt some type of way. I just kept going to you. You know what I'm saying? Walking to you, because I wasn't doing nothing wrong. So it's like, I just kept walking around, and... Supposedly the police hopped up the car. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So with you, what did you see from your perspective with the police? I didn't even know. I thought the police just stopped there. I was just kept on walking. And I was like, and then that's when you was like, uh, nah, I got to go check this because they, they're look, he's looking at y'all. I was like, All right. I don't know if he's looking at us or not. And then. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention to him. Yeah. So when you find out he was looking at you, how did that make you feel? Mm -hmm. It was just crazy. I don't know. It was like, for what? You know? Like, why? What? So the police, when the police ran down on them, he hit the light on them on the top of his car. And I just went on 12. I ran up fussing and cussing because, like, I knew my kids ain't do nothing. They just ate a sub. Probably, like, nothing. So I ran, cussed him out, and he told me that, he told me look in the cruiser at a picture he had of a suspect that had just stole a car. And I looked at the picture, and the picture looked like a black male with dreads. So yeah, could have been, could it look like my sons? Yeah, but he, when he stepped out of his car, he said he knew that the birthdays didn't match up as soon as he stepped out. So that was number one. Then tell him what happened when we was leaving our subway. I went to subway to get some cookies, cause I was worked up. So tell him what happened second time. Yeah. Huh? So we was walking out of subway. Got talk loud. So we was walking out of subway. And we seen an undercover uh, cop coming by. And we all say we seen him. We was like, that's the police right there. And we walking back to the car over there by Publix. It was right across the street from Subway. And we chilled out there for like 10, 10 to like 10 to 5 minutes. And we got in the car and we went to Whataburgers. And we went to Whataburgers. We went inside and they basically put up on us and tried to trap us up in there. They put, uh, put in front of the car. And the other one came inside the store and try to trap us. Yeah, from a side door and all that. And that didn't even, like they looked at everybody in the store and then didn't look at us. They just came up behind us and just sat right there with a flashlight in his hand. While we're at Whataburger. The crazy part is that this is the undercover. I'm in there in line. I see the undercover car that was at the subway back up beside my car. And I'm like, yo, the police outside again. They still messing with us. After the one police ran down on us and said it, he obviously knew it wasn't us. But I feel like that this older cop was gonna to try to prove it was us. So he pull up beside our car and get out and walk in the side door and come up behind us with his flashlight in his hand. And then what the other police do? The other one, after the one told us that, I mean, after we told the one that the last one messed with us and all that, mm -hmm. he got on his phone and I think he texted the other one because the other one pulled from in front of the car and then we went out there and then we told him to leave us alone and then he just said, ain't nobody looking for y'all. 
Yeah, they had our car blocked in. They were, it was one police in the store behind Life, another police out there with my car blocked in. After we just had an altercation, a run-in with the police, what was it, 10, 15 minutes prior to that? Yeah. And that police gonna tell me when I asked, I told him leave me to bleep alone. He was like, well, you do look like him. So we went on that. So that was altercation number three with the police. So it's been four, right? Well, no, nah, it was a bunch more because we just had, it's been a lot. <laughs> so so then fast forward, what's this? That was, that, that was actually altercation number two. That, that was, was three. number three. Oh, yeah, it was. Three. He pulled up on us. He was outside the subway. And then, then he came, came in there. with him. So that oh, was yeah. three. Yeah, that That's was three. three. All right. And we ain't, we're not doing nothing wrong at all. Um, so now we up at the shopping center. In the parking lot. In the parking lot. We went into the gas station, got uh, some mocha some, frappuccino. Yeah, just on a drink. And some you, you, you hoos yeah, Some chocolate milk, basically. And we're in the parking lot having a photo shoot at the Jeep, having a good time, minding our business. And lo and behold, what happened there, y'all? The police put up behind us. Not even directly behind us. They just sat in the car for like 15 minutes. To, and like, as soon as we pulled out, they going to pull out the parking lot too. Like, like they following us. So we turned around and seen them. But going. I was patty. I took pictures. I rode behind. After, I, after we was done taking pictures, I was a little patty. And we rode behind the police. And I told my sons to take a picture of them. Yeah, Probably just wrong. in case. But no. we took pictures it's of him our safety. and his license plates. Just yeah, our because safety. I'm sure he was taking, he was watching us, we monitor him. So yeah. that's number four. Yeah, and all we did was take pictures. Yeah, we pulled out a thing and we see him pulling out too when we, after we spent around to go back into the parking lot. And then all of a sudden he driving back in the same parking lot as soon as we get back there too after pulling out and leaving. So that's four and five is when he pulled out behind us. So six, we went, I just, all I did was pull out the parking lot rolled down the street, made a U-turn. And when I made the U-turn, he was pulling out the parking lot too. And so I went down the street like another mile and then went right back to where I was at. And what, about five minutes later, the same police pulled right back in the parking lot beside us. So he went to the gas station across the street after he rolled through the parking lot. Um, man, it's, it's crazy because we could be doing a lot wrong, but we actually not doing nothing wrong. We just father and sons just chilling and i don't see nothing wrong with going to subway i don't see nothing wrong with going to get a cookie nothing's wrong with going to whataburger nothing's wrong with what taking pictures at the yeah just taking, taking pictures family in photos. an empty parking lot family photos for memories because we don't even get to see our dad like that and all that so we just came down here for a week from virginia and yeah so now it's like the kids is, is i'm not hate to scream a race car but i don't know what it is are we getting racially profiled because how we look and then so now what was that five and six mm -hmm. so now remember i told you the police was behind us for so long so obviously he ran our plates because we was just at the house and i went in the house to get my camera stand and some props for this video i'm about to shoot and the police do what pull up on them. as we pulling out of the houseway we see the, the same, same police, police car right pulling into the house, house. We ain't got no dope. We ain't got no guns. We did, did, did you steal a car? No. Nah. We don't even know how to steal a car. He 15. <laughs> and the guy in the picture was skinny. Yeah. He was skinny. Bone. He had like an old face though. His face was old. Like mm -hmm. he looked real old. He had dreads though. And so, dark this message go out to St. John's County Police. My name is Thurston White and I endorse this message. Please leave me alone. I live in your community. All right? We ain't doing nothing wrong. Tell your officers to stop following us, stop harassing me and my family. I'm tired of it. It has to stop. I feel like y'all harass me. I'm documenting, making this video. So if I get out here on these streets, y'all pulling me over. I'm telling you, I'm suing y'all. I'm taking y'all to court because I didn't do nothing wrong. I go to work every day. My kids go to school and play sports. Whoever y'all looking for is not us. Got the wrong people. The wrong ones. This is what we look like, okay? It's not me. I'm just thinking y'all straight harassing us now. But how do, how do all this police stuff make you feel like? Mm -hmm. It's just a different different thing. Back then, VA, I don't realize getting altercations with the police. It's, yeah, they don't mess with us at all. It's more like chill, it's chill and laid back, you feel me? Even in Jacksonville, it ain't like that. 
in Jacksonville, the police, they ain't got time for us. We out here in the county, if it's confusing, and I'm trying to, well, I'm focusing on getting my walk right with God, being spiritual, raising my family, got a baby on the way, and y'all coming with this malarkey, with this foolishness, y'all giving me anxiety, and all this other stuff. And I hope this make it to the sheriff. Tell him, look at my page, stop following me. Stop following me and my children around and, and bother me like that because whatever you think is going on is not. Um, how it make you feel, Trey? It make me feel very uncomfortable because like they don't even pull over the people that be speeding on the highway, going 100, flying past people, but they quick to pull over like some black people or something like that. Like, they just don't even have a reason to come to us and they just pull up on us and flash a light on us for no reason at all. So shout out to my ops. <laughs> no. And if y'all seen us do this, this is a W. <laughs> our last name is White. That's our family thing. <laughs> yeah, White. It's not nothing. It's a W. I, my last name White. His last name White. His last name White. We just bliggity black, but we our last names are White. So y'all leave us alone. Stop messing with us, please. Sheriff, tell your troopers, deputies, whatever they are, to leave us alone when we out here. But we got some little um, demonstration we're gonna put together with this water real quick, and then we're gonna let y'all go. What yeah. you mean demonstration? We gotta demonstrate stuff, you know I like. With this water. No, I'm gonna just right, get so water. You can pause that, pause that. What is that this. water for? What we gonna edit it for? We can leave it all on one. No, 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 what is this water for? What do you mean demonstration? We're gonna pour it in cups. I don't want to pause the video. Y'all just stay right here. What are we doing? Nobody going to get wet. Hold on. Stay right there. I don't know what you're talking about. I do got a message. I got it. Don't move y'all chairs, though, because the chairs are in the thing. Put this on my seat. What is going on? Mm. Oh, this yours. Notice how one is white. Chill. I'm saying chill. That's the reason. <laughs> All right, so this is the message. What y'all like? You ain't gonna get the one off the seat? Yeah. Make sure y'all gonna have to put y'all feet back. So this is a message, right? We gotta make sure the cups be in the camera. So I wanna talk about in the Bible when they talk about the cups running over. Let me lower the camera real fast. Y'all stay right there. All right. In the Bible, in Psalms 23rd, they talk about how your cup got to run over. So what I want to demonstrate is how an anointing has to come upon you and run over in a way where it overflows that other people can get the anointing, can get the blessing. So this is a way we're going to use the water, which is symbolic to the Holy Spirit or baptism and this is going to be the anointing. The water is going to be like me studying the people I deal with, the spiritual guidance, my spiritual leadership, my mentorship. And this cup is going to represent just a man. The only guy represent me, but the head of a household, a man, and their cups are going to represent them. We'll put Trey first because he's the oldest, life below him. But what I want to demonstrate to y'all men out there that's going through things that you have to make sure your cup is full and your cup is overflowing with the anointing in order to pour down into your kids or to anybody else's kids. Because without the anointing and without the touch of the Holy Spirit, without the blessing of God, nothing can even happen. I know that I'm frustrated, the police bothering me, but I'm still gonna focus on the word of God and just spreading the message that God can change things and that we are overcomers through Christ who strengthens us. So we're gonna do this. Let me make sure my arm. So y'all put y'all cups out. Now put them under mine. Uh, tray, tray first. All right. Directly under? Yeah, hold it right there. And you gotta make sure all the cups in the camera. Hold on. Stay right there, I gotta check this. So it's gonna be like a domino effect. Yeah, all right. All right. So put yours right under. This is what happens. I gotta get the anointing, the spirit coming into me, the blessings, the wisdom, all that stuff. And what happens is, as it continuously comes, my cup has to overflow. And as my cup overflows, it'll fill the cups below me. And then as the cup below me getting full, if I fill one son, he can in return fill the other one's cup. 
When you see that, that's how the anointing works. And if your cup ain't overflowing, ain't no cup getting filled. And then what happens, as it overflows and overflows, all the cups get filled. And the anointing goes over. And we can pour it out. But what the Bible says, I got his Yeezys wet. But what the scriptures say is that surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I dwell in the house of the Lord forever. So you, St. John's County Sheriff, I'm out here pumping the word. I'm bagging up hope, chopping it up, and selling it on your block. I don't got no drugs. I got a good message. What you need to do is get with me, partner with me, and we could do things and try to change lives. Stop following me around. Stop showing up everywhere I go. Let that anointing that we're talking about, this is the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Let that run into your facilities. Grant me permission to get inside y'all institutions. That's what you do. Get with me, you heard? That's it. 16 minutes in, thank y'all for joining. Life is so happy to be on my YouTube right now. He is like so happy. <laughs> Trey is, is just mesmerized. I'm gonna make this boy famous one day. Tell him, ain't you so happy to be on my, yes, I am happy to be on your YouTube. Yeah, and tell him life, ain't you so, yeah, daddy, I, I, I love it. I'm so ecstatic right now. And ain't you happy you to like that? Huh? You sound like that? Yeah. I don't sound like that. Uh, now, we're gonna jump in the pool. Who going first? Me. Come you on, me. I'm not you going. You gonna ride? So you gonna jump? All right, go ahead. No, 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 you gotta get in the car, right there. Hey, good. It's a Jeep. All right, you right. You gonna jump in the cold pool? Go ahead. I ain't gonna jump in. You huh? I ain't gonna. You not? Oh, y'all not gonna jump in? No, bro. It's all you, life. <laughs> do it for the live, bro. Do, do it for the live. I ain't gonna do it, huh? Do it for Ray Ray. You gotta dive in there like this, life. What? You gotta dive in there like this. Y'all told me do it for the ground. Do it for the ground. Do it for the ground, bro. But can you swim though? I'm a drown. If you can't I'm swim, not in <laughs> you bound to drizzle. Huh? I'm not driving. I'm not getting wet. You, you the real swimmer here, bro. Uh, you're going to let me wash my clothes when I get home? My yeah. pants? Yeah. My cup overflows, but it ain't flowing like that. I'm going to get go. cold. <laughs> no, nah, it ain't. So you, you can swim because you know it's six feet, right? Yes, I'm not going to this side. I want to go over here. Jump. No, huh? Bro. I don't want to swim right here. Swim. No, bro. You got to do it in the deep side so you don't hurt yourself. I'm scared. The, the wall right there. I'm scared to go down. I'm like, it's cold. If you don't it's not cold. It's not cold? Nah. Take it's, it on, bro. It's December. It's, Christmas was two days ago. Oh, or right. yesterday. Take it on, bro. <laughs> He did it. Oh my gosh. Huh? Is it cold? It's, it's cold. It's cold. <laughs> All right, come on. Let's get home. <laughs> uh, but Larry said, it's cold. It's cold. Life did it. In. He did the polar plunge. Come on, Trey. Get in with me. Nah. <laughs> a little wake up. I had to wake up off that. It might be a big wake up. Big wake up. Lock cap. 